Um, I was misled in that entire relationship. And it hurts. Now you want to put him on blast that he's doing infidelity in the marriage and he ain't no good ass treating that. Now you want to do it? I think not. You should have been dead that. And you just as wrong. Like... <sighs> <clears throat> your girl Saj Craziness. I'm coming to you, 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 and you with another Orange Street segment. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share my video. It helps me out greatly. And if you don't know, I am doing a thing called Vlogmas, and that's basically where I post 25 days out of December, and they'll be on this channel right here. So y'all definitely go check out your girl. I do vlogs and all that good stuff. You know, get to know me on a personal level, because that's what I really want y'all to do. Get to know me on a personal level, minus all this BS in these streets and stuff. But anyway, <laughs> let's get into it. So. I don't even know how you say this young lady. Well, she ain't young, I don't think. I think I'm younger than her. But either way, I don't know how you say this woman's name. So, we're just going to call her the mistress. Sorry about it, girl. But I don't want to butcher your name. So, at this point, you are the mistress. So, recently, she had came out and said that her and um, Latasha's husband, Rocky, from Escape, they did do got her pregnant and he been cheating on his wife for some years now okay but then all of a sudden she goes back on her page and said page was hacked i am not pregnant and i'm not about to mess up no happy home i have kids of my own and i went blah 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 but then she backpedals on that and says i wasn't hacked y'all it was rocky who told me to tell y'all that I was hacked. Basically alluding to it was his idea. And I'm like, girl, women, when are we going to wake up? <laughs> when are we going to wake up? It is so many true crime cases out there with mistresses and the husbands and the wives some of the wives, they ready to knock you off if you know what I'm talking about. Because you ain't finna mess up they happy home or they think they happy home. And then they gonna get the husband as well. Or they just get the husband. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Follow me, follow me. Then we have the mistresses that lose their mind knowing that they were stepping with a married man on his wife. Confront the wife like, yeah, uh-huh, I'm here and I'm gonna stay here regardless of what the terms are he gonna be over there and you gonna be over there you know that um scissor song you can have him for the weekday i just want him for the weekend yes that mentality type thing and they end up going cuckoo for cocoa puffs and they thinking they can scheme and scam on the wife like this is just too much deception going on here it might lead to all parties not a good ending in jail, in the grave, or what have you. And at this point, like, it's so much stuff going on. Why can't you just find somebody that's not married? That man is not going to leave that woman. If he ain't left her while y'all was, you know, getting to know each other, and he found out, oh, I have feelings for you, and, you know, blah, 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 he ain't going to leave her, especially it's been years, and he been probably singing the same tune. I'm going to leave her, man. You know, it's just hard. We got the kid. Damn, now the son is grown up. He a grown-ass man now, ain't he? I think so. He ain't going to leave, okay? Especially with, you know, um, she's a celebrity. And I think you like an IG model. Coat bottle. With IG model. Coat bottle. Okay. But, you know, yeah. And you get around look like because you be around a lot of celebs, okay? So maybe y'all met each other through the industry. I don't know. But it's just giving me, well, it's not really giving me anything because I just look at this and be like, we need to know our worth, okay? Time is near. <laughs> Save yourself, if you know what I'm saying. But um, let's just see what this message she had to say. Well, I re I really didn't react. I just had facial reactions to what Miss Mama had to say about how she felt she was misled by Rocky. So this is my reaction to that. Good morning, y'all. Um, I just had to take a moment 
myself in because I sat back and I watched y'all bash me like these last few days. And then I wake up this morning and y'all still going in on me, you know, so I was like, I got to say something, you know, so and how y'all labeling me is by far from who I actually am. So I was like, I got to say something. But, you know, why y'all going in on me? I'm not mad. You know, I can't get mad because y'all don't know me. Right. So I understand. I get it. Y'all going off of what y'all see. I get it. You know, but um, I was misled in that entire relationship. And it hurts. You know, it hurts. Um, and this is not, I don't, this is not for y'all to feel sorry for me. I, this ain't none of that. I ain't asking for y'all to sympathize, empathize. Like, this ain't none of that. This is me. This is for real. This is my aim. So I have to say something. And I just want to apologize to my family and his family. Um, you know, but I was misled in all of this. Okay. And I'm like, that's a, that's a crock of bull. I'm sorry. And then I seen people in the comments talking about, you know, hey, y'all need to really get off her. You ain't like you ain't been through this before. Okay, but I ain't coming to no damn internet. And I think the only way you came to the internet because he wasn't giving you what you wanted. So you was like, oh, I'm going to blast you, okay? I'm going to blast you. And I have yet to see Rocky or Tasha even speak on the situation. So you really talking to yourself out here in these streets. And then posting um, that he was texting you and basically showing that he was the one who came up with the whole hack, hackerization and you talking about give me a minute i'm driving and stuff like that and you just stupid you stupid to even go with the thing you should stand on what you came out with let's just get into this thing she had said good morning i just want to say i was misled i was told we was going to be together <laughs> famous line huh? he told me he was married but not in the marriage so separated now, how many times a nigga done said, oh, you know, man, yeah, we we got the family and stuff. And, you know, I still got to act like it, but I ain't with her. We separated. She got her own house. I got my own, you know. It is what it is. We can still be together. You know, I ain't going to be with her. You know I love you. They, they were not actually together, and his plan was to leave her. I was manipulated into dropping that last post about my page being hacked, I guess. I'm guessing for his own selfish reasons, I apologize to my family and his family for all the confusion. And that's the truth, okay? And then she posted some old receipts, I think, the other day and talking, uh, you know, as you can see, this collage. I don't know why we made it into collage because I can't see what's under the first one. And then it's just too much I got to decipher through. She had said in her caption, Y'all really got me effed up. I was misled and I said what I said with all them damn hashtags that I'm not going to read. Y'all can read them. But then somebody had said, have you accepted that you and Rocky would never live happily ever after? Even if Latasha leaves him and she going to say, y'all really think I did this so he can be with me? Y'all really got me effed up. So why did you do it? Now you want to put him on blast that he's doing infidelity in the marriage and he ain't no good ass treating ass nigga. Now you want to do it? I think not. You should have been dead that. And you just as wrong. Like, <clears throat> at this point, y'all tell me what y'all think about this comment session below because it's nothing but foolishry, foolishry, foolishness, and buffoonery at his best. Women know your worth. You you should know that you want to be with a person that loves you, adores you, and treats you with respect. And not you ain't shame. With all this polygamy thing and stuff going on, having multiple. No, I need you with me and you need me with you. Period point blank. Cause we a union. I don't need to have a football team or a little mini league. No, sir. No. Mm. That's how stuff just get twisted. Anyways, like I said, y'all tell me what y'all think about it in the comment section below, and I'll see you on the next one.